So what are my three baits I think you should be using in the month of August? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. I think August is the hottest month temperature wise. As you start moving up the, up the, the country from Florida up north, in the later days of, of August, you're gonna start seeing some cooler nights. And this is something we're gonna, we're gonna target. But we're gonna talk about three different sections, the upper part of the country, the middle part of the country, and then the southern states. Because while they have different, there's gonna be different criteria, or different ways of fishing, they're gonna be somewhat similar. There's gonna be a lot of similarities that you see in up north and down here right now, other than it's just blazing hot. You have to remember, in the month of August, I think it's really important to fish docks really hard because those bass are going to be underneath there getting that shade. So your docks or your ledges or your lily pads and, and grass, that's really important to target early and later in the afternoon. In the middle of the day, like I said, those fish are going to start going to deeper areas and finding shelter that way. But in the morning and afternoon, they're going to push into that shoreline and eat as much as possible. August is kind of a transition month. There are going to be some cooler nights as the the month goes on and that will bring fish from deep into the shoreline and we are going to be very particular about when we fish. In the middle of the day you want to stay offshore. If it's in the morning or in the afternoon or you see you have a shade line or something like that, you want to fish those in the morning and in all in all areas, upper, middle, and, and southern, you want to put on a topwater. Now for me, I really believe right now a great bait to use is a topwater frog. You can, you'll find that as August, in the beginning of August, you're going to have a lot of grass and slop on top of the water or in the water. And a topwater weedless frog will skate over it and also get a lot of bites. So for all three areas, upper, middle, and southern, my first bait is a frog. So the first part of the country we're going to talk about is the upper states because that is the, they're going to have the best transition month that they're going to have. This is a good time for up north to really, really catch them because first off, you're going to find that the bass are schooling. They are getting together. They're in deeper areas. They're on humps and ledges and in vegetation or structure. And they want to be together. They want to be deeper where the shad are, are following through or they want to find a ledge or an ambush point that they can just attack as much bait as possible during the day, the middle of the day. In the morning, they're going to be on the shorelines and on the ledge and stuff like that. So having something that can be fished in the deeper parts and then also in that ledge is very important. So my second bait for up north, because the first one was a frog, is some sort of deep diving crankbait fish it on that edge, bounce it off the bottom, do anything you can. I'd even go so far as saying that even a bigger crankbait or glide bait is really going to be very successful right now for you. They want a bigger bait. They want something that can fill their belly. While at times if there's a shad spawn, they'll go after small shad or bluegill, but in majority of what's happening up north right now is those fish are gonna go to deeper areas and school up. So. One was a frog, two is a crankbait, and three, I think, is probably going to be the best thing you can do is to get a drop shot or a finesse bait. But that this drop shot is perfect right now, bouncing it off the bottom in the middle of the day. Getting the bait down to them and just bouncing it to them is important. I don't think... This isn't something that you want to just blind cast though. You want to be very specific at knowing hopefully where some sort of structure is and then getting that bait right on top of their face. Don't think that even, even though they'll go after a bait a long distance, right now a good thing to do is to drop it right on their nose if possible. And those are the three baits I think you should use if you're in the upper part of the country. If you've watched this far, you should have hit that like and subscribe button. Become part of the family and team. So the middle of the country is going to be kind of like the southern states. I think you need to fish humps and ledges again uh, are going to be key points to finding fish. I think that water temperatures are going to be really hot. They're going to be really high. So if you can find a thermocline, like a thermo part of where 
hot water and cooler water are there, that thermocline will hold predator fish. They'll hold shad and bluegill and stuff like that, but the predator fish are going to be at that level too. A lot of times you'll see the temperature 90, 93 degrees in that first 8 to 10, 12 foot, and then at 14 foot it might be 88, 87 degrees. So that temperature change is a great spot to start your fishing. So what do you use? Well, again, in the morning, I think you use a, a topwater bait. I think a whopper plopper isn't a bad uh, idea. A frog is a great idea early in the afternoon. But in the middle of the day, or as that sun gets a little bit middle of the country, I think a great bait to use is a fluke. Now, when I say using a fluke, this is going to be a little bit slower action bait. I think you need to put a fluke on, make that long cast, and let the fluke sink nose down. And just give it a couple twitches and then let it sink down again. It'll look like a dying baby forage fish. And as it so sinks down, those bass are going to be sitting there waiting for it. I think deep diving crankbait is another one that you can use to get to that level, that 12 to 14 foot level where that thermocline could be and just fish that 12 to 14 foot range. Now one of the things I think you might have to do because you're going to see a lot more grass is you might have to boost your poundage and or your test. I think normally during the, the, uh, the summer, that 10 to 12 works pretty good. I think that as it starts to get a lot more weedy, you need to get to that 12 to 17 to 20. You'll see a better landing ratio with your fish, but also the bait will run a little bit different too. So we've talked about a frog in the morning. We talked about a deep diving crankbait in the middle of the day or off those ledges and points and stuff like that. A fluke is really important. And I think the best option for you now is again, just like up north, either a Ned rig or a big worm. I think if you can use an eight or 10 inch ribbon tail worm or just a DOA Cal eight inch worm, I think you'll be really successful because they're looking for a bigger bite, a bigger presentation to eat. They wanna get as much food in their tummies as possible because soon it's going to change into a little bit cooler weather. Not soon enough, but it's gonna happen. So. The, that worm being Texas rigged or Carolina rigged or pegged or however you want to do it will sink to the bottom, bounce it off the bottom a couple times and or twitch your rod and you'll get bite after bite with it. And then last but not least, the southern states, I think it's a no brainer. I think it's pretty much the same as the middle of the country. I think you should be using a frog early and often in the morning and in the afternoons. I think a worm is really, really crucial right now, Texas rig or Carolina rigged, uh, just because you can get it in deeper areas. And I think r right now a fluke is another one I'm using, I'm going to use a lot. I want that, I want to be able to, to, for me in Florida, we have shallow water, I want to be able to skate that fluke weedless over top of grass and other stuff. I want to be able to twitch it and make it really weedless as much as possible and get them to attack up. If you can find a little bit cooler water because of that thermocline too, you're, you'll catch more fish. But generally right now, we're in that really, really super hot days of, of the summer. It's, it's almost a little uncomfortable. It's so warm right now. But this is a time when fishing isn't the easiest down south. This, this super hot weather makes fish almost a little bit lethargic. They want to expend energy to eat, but at the same time, they don't want to eat. They realize that they have to do as much as possible, but they're being very finicky on what they're eating. But get that fluke in front of them, get that topwater frog or topwater plopper, and that worm, and you're going to catch lots of fish. So what three baits are you going to be using in the month of August? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I will talk to you all soon. Cheers.